Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Center, and I am back with another gardening project. So if you've been watching my recent videos, you know that I am prepping this part of my yard for a shed. Is anybody else excited? You're just me. I am very excited. Air conditioner and the helicopters are out, so I'm trying to speak up, but essentially, I'm going to be putting my shed right back here because as you can see, as the afternoon goes on, that is the first part of my yard to get shady. And then this part in the full sun is going to be where I put my new raised beds. So that should be good. Shade for me, sun for the plants. We'll all be happy. We'll have a nice little family time, me and the plants. But in order to prep this space for the shed, for the raised beds, I am going to be out here working for a while. So the first thing I did was I just had my yard guy, he's got a big tiller. He came out and he tilled the whole area for me. This is probably unnecessary, but as you can see, the whole space was just filled with weeds. And when I put in my new garden bed, I hand weeded all the way around it and it took me a couple days. And that area is like a sixth the space of this field. So he hand, he tilled it for me so I didn't have to can pull all these weeds and I'm going to come through with my rake and pull, you know, as much of this gunk out as possible. But I do think eventually I will have to get down and probably hand weed some more. Now, I'm not sure, you know, the, the area under the shed, not super worried about if it has weeds or not. Um, and eventually I'll probably extend the pea gravel, which will help suppress the weeds. The raised beds will go down with cardboard that will suppress the weeds but i didn't want to have to hand pull all of this so we are going to start back in the shade first of all because it's shady second of all because this is the crap pile around my air conditioner and since there's all this crap here i'm probably gonna have to hand pull most of that but i'm not sure what i'm doing with it but back in front of my chain link fence i know i want to grow some sweet peas because I have a whole bunch of sweet peas that need a home and they can grow on that fence and help hide it. So we're going to start back there, hand pulling all those weeds, putting the um, dirt and compost back there that I have, and then hopefully we'll get the sweet peas transplanted because they need to move. And then we're just going to keep clearing out this field because my shed should be here anywhere from the next two days to the next week we're in we're in the time period that it could come so we better get to work no more talking
All right, y'all. So the field is done. I know this video was not super exciting and I debated even putting this video together because honestly, we could go from the planning stage right to having the shed installed. But I mean, here's the before. And here is the after. This was a pretty big change from what was here before. And I'm not 100% sure it was necessary, but I don't want weeds under the shed. I know I'm gonna have raised beds over here. I know I'm gonna have a patio over here. I know I'm going to have some type of garden bed over here, but I'm not 100% sure where those things are gonna happen. So this was the easiest way to kind of prep the whole space for no weeds. And now we have a nice blank slate for the shed to go in and for all the rest of our projects once we decide what those are going to be. So, hope you liked this video. Something noisy just went by. If you did, stick around because the shed is being delivered today in about four hours. So hopefully I will have a installing the shed video up shortly so you can see the actual after with the shed. <laughs> and once that's in, we can start on the next steps of transforming this space into a work shed slash raised garden um, for vegetables and cut flowers and just an extension of the garden we already have. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will be back in the shed video. Bye y'all. Daddy, what are you doing? Do the cut pile? I cannot wait until we get rid of the cut pile. Come on. Good job.